Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. We're taking a look at St. Meghan Markle. I know you know what it is, but just in case you don't, it's a fun Reddit group where they deep dive all things Harry and Meghan. And so I usually end up cracking up over the memes, the articles. It leads to lively discussions amongst ourselves. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Thank you for being here, everybody. Honk, honk. Okay, this one was shared by Expensively Mundane, and it says, has he in a summary? All right, so I found this list very funny. You ready? To summarize the life of Harry, former prince of the realm, has no brains, has no balls, has no ambition, has no personality, has no qualifications, has no sobriety, has a traitor's mind, has no sophistication, and my personal favorite, has an evil wife. Just to name a few. So much for a royal background. And they shared this picture to go <laughs> to go along with that list. I am obsessed with that list. Let me know what we can add to that list because brilliant. Bell Chewy says, has no resemblance to his late mother, only his father. Eagle Bay Queen says, congratulations, Harry. You were a loved and popular member of the British royal family. Now you've reduced yourself to this. This is what people think of you. All right. Big White Fishy posted this one. It says, will anyone be following her? I won't. I refuse to contribute to her follower account. So I've been talking about this one. She's up to 103,000 followers at the time of the recording. I think it's weird how people are counting how many followers she has. And honestly, I mean, it's more than I have. I don't even use Instagram, but I'm saying it's more than... Some people have, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I don't, I actually think the number is shockingly low for somebody who's in the public spotlight, you know? I just, I find the whole thing weird. And then this, we're waiting with bated breath for at Margle, Margle, listen to me, at Megan, <laughs> um, <laughs> at Margle, that might be her new name. Anyway, at Megan, nobody's waiting for for her posts I'm more waiting to make fun of it and I think that's probably the consensus but no who is taking life advice from her nobody and that seems to be the consensus in the comments we have green charter here saying I mean seriously this is so lame from marrying into a historical royal family to becoming a peddler on Instagram how does one fall f this far this quickly well I'll tell you how you act like an a-hole to everybody around you and this is what you get. But um, yeah, not only that, I mean, lest we forget wandering around a parking lot covering stickers, <laughs> trying to sell stickers. I'd say that's pretty darn, that might be lower than Instagram. Ghostly Writer says, it's hilarious how the media keep puffing out news articles with her Instagram numbers. This is all clearly a ploy to bump those numbers up before she makes her big debut on the anniversary of the tragic death of Harry's mother. Practical Tear says, in only 103,000, how many of those are paid or bots? All right. Build the Herd posted this one. It says, the comment section of the New York Post article about Meg's plotting one million a post, Insta comeback is pure gold. Now, I did a separate video on this where I talk about the same thing. It's so ridiculous. There's all these planted news stories of how she could earn up to a million dollars per post on her Instagram. And we're all saying, no, she can't. It's not going to happen. The only followers she have are people gawking at her, not running out to buy the things she's selling. If anything, it's just going to lead to people boycotting those companies. So no, I, this whole thing is so stupid. But here we are. So here are some of the comments from the article. We have people saying like, can we all ignore her so she goes away? Most people want nothing that she's selling. Stop trying to make Markle happen, which I love. Stop trying to make Fetch happen. All right. Scarlett says, people don't like her. I'll go even further. Most of the entire world can't stand her. There are entire websites and social media channels dedicated to proving her hatefulness, to which I say, hi, all. Welcome. Glad you're here. And Harry, too. This will not succeed. What an embarrassment to go from having the biggest platform in the world to this. They could have had it all. Imagine blowing that much opportunity. Unfathomable. All right. The doofus of Montecito. And can I just say, I call him that. I've not called her that. So I find that very funny. The doofus of Montecito is going to get $1 million per post. Sweeping comeback in a movie and an Oscar. 
and something else I can't recall. <laughs> it will all be like the last failed thing. To which somebody replied, you forgot she's going to become the president. Because remember that was swirling for a little bit. I guess that's dropped off. And then one of my favorite comments by this guy, Stephen X, says, sure she is. Sure. Before you arrange a comeback, could you go away first? And then Krusty Vet posts, if there is a Santa Claus, I'm asking that this talentless, attention-seeking bimbo and her simp of a husband fail royally again. Come on, Santa. I've been pretty good. <laughs> but then going back into the Reddit comments themselves, a lot of people were strongly reacting and laughing to the before you arrange a comeback, you must go away first. I think that's pretty great. All right, and then Big White Fishy posted this one, and it says, The Rat in Question, Megan herself. Exclusive, Megan Markle's New York City Baby Shower Hotel, The Mark. Wow, that's a funny name for a hotel, especially something that's been associated with Megan Markle. Okay, uh, The Mark is slammed over rats spotted in its caviar restaurant. You guys, you can't make this stuff up. I think that's really funny. I think it's funny that an article about... <laughs> a uh, hotel or a restaurant uh, being overrun with rats is associated with Meghan Markle. And then this very funny person says, the real question is, were these rats involved in a high-speed, near-catastrophic car chase? This person answers, yes. All right, I love this username. It's Feisty Energy, and it says, anything you can do, I can do better. So... I talked about this in a separate video. We got Harold using Backgrid and hanging out in a parking lot. We've seen this quite a bit from the Instagram loving bee wife. I'm kicking myself for not thinking of this when I talked about those photos in the video. I was just laughing so hard about another parking lot shot, really, and how interesting that the paps happened to know once again where they were going to be. Hmm. Interesting, right? All right. So it's pointed out by Z London, paps are not scary now. Remember, that was a thing that he had said that he's afraid and it I don't know, messes with him when he sees them. But all of a sudden, he's not afraid anymore. Yeah, it was something he talked about in Spare. Pizza, pizza Procedure points out, remember when Harry got triggered by the flash of a bulb or a click of a camera? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> To which Z London replies, a soul bike rider was scary on Netflix. And Pizza Procedure writes back, aka the city bike guy. I would say it's the Uber Eats or delivery guy on a bike. All right, I hope I say your name right. Salute Demure, I believe. Posted this, Doria with the Kardashians at the Humanity Soiree in LA. I did a video on this one as well, where I kind of crack up about this and imagine that Megan is... Throw it a fit that she's not in this, in these photographs. All right. It says, Doris not exploiting her daughter's infamy at all. I would say takes a grifter to know a grifter, right? Uh, Common Echo says, it's funny how the OG grifter is so much better at this than Harry and Meghan. Also, Charles needs to seriously remove those kids' titles. At this rate, the Kardashian's going to marry a prince or princess of the UK. All right. Hermes Blanket says both Kardashians have their faces and hips tilted away from Doria. Body language guy, what say you? I say it reminds me of Megan's engagement photo with Harry because she kind of tilts away from him too. And then one of you guys was so clever and pointed out that Kim is doing the claw on Doria. <laughs> the Markle claw, not the double claw, just claw. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. This was so much fun. I love going through these. I love St. Megan Markle Group. There's so much fun over there. I hope you enjoyed this as well. And of course, as more news comes out about, you know, these two, you know, I'll be talking about it. You guys, thanks for everything. If you want to further support the show, definitely check out. We got merch. We got Drunk Goose Club. Honk, honk, everybody. We got Make It Make Sense. Recollections may vary. Or check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can become an executive producer. That's where you can get bonus deep dives, all that good stuff. So now I'm going to thank my executive producers and thank you all so much for watching. A oh, huge thank you to Linda. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you to Paige. Huge thank you to Teresa. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Brenda. 
Thank you, Aaron and Frank. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Ann M. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Ann H. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Glennis. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Adair Becker. Thank you to Erica. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Barb G. Thank you to Diana. Thank you, Allison B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Lori. Thank you to Pauline. Thank you to KT. Thank you, Jolene. Thank you, Stromboli. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Loey. Thank you, Lucy H. Thank you to Georgia. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Robin's Landing. Thank you to Helen. Thank you to Mara. Thank you, Ashley C. Thank you to Molly. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Sand Squid. Thank you to Rach. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Dombey. Thank you, Android P. Thank you to Sheena. Thank you, Aaron M. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Spectrum Mom. Thank you, Vanessa B. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Mimi Heathcote. Thank you, Misty. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you to Bree. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you to Elvis Rose here on YouTube. Thank you to Lori. Thank you, Tim B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Kathy with a C. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you to Patricia. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Ridley. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, John. Thank you, Donna D. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Chewy. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, 509 Cougs. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, BJ. Thank you, Big Bad John. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Duck Barf. Your name is always funny to me. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Vicky Loves Her Corgi. Thank you, Charisse. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Genesee. Thank you, Essie. Thank you, Lady Grandmother. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Funky Buddha. And thank you, Trish. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, K Coffee. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, K Cubed. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Stragoria. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Morty, por favor. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Salami Mommy. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Zara. Thank you, Shiny. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Catherine. Can you guys believe I ran out of <laughs> namespace on the other ones? I had to start a new list here. It's just unbelievable. Thank you to everybody who has signed up to be an executive producer. If you're interested, definitely check out patreon.com slash Recaps. Thank you guys for everything. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.